This video shows how to format an external device such as a USB flash drive, USB hard drive, or SD card to FAT32 file system. FAT32 file system has the following rules. Maximum partition size is 2 terabyte. Maximum file size is 4 gigabyte. Maximum number of files in a single folder is 65,534. What do these limitations, what do these rules mean to us when making an external device for the 205G player? The first rule tells us that a single external device can only be used as a 2 terabyte in size. Currently, the USB flash drive or SD card is available up to 256 gigabyte in size. So for a USB flash drive or SD card, the 2 terabyte rule is of no concern. An external hard drive, however, is available all the way up to 10 or 16 terabyte. And for hard drives that are larger than 2 terabyte, we must partition the drive down to 2 terabyte and format it as FAT32. The remaining space would not be recognized or usable in the 205G player. The second rule is that a single file size is 4 gigabyte. Since the average file size of an MP3G song file is 4 to 8 megabyte depending on the compression rate, this limitation is not binding. Even for a video song file such as MP4, the average file size per song is 50 to 100 megabyte and it is well below the 4 gigabyte limit. The third rule is that the maximum number of files in a single folder is 65,534. This is perhaps the most limiting factor when making an external device. Since the MP3G song has a pair of files, MP3 and CDG, this limitation says that the maximum number of MP3G songs we can have in a single folder is 32,767. Now, 32,767 still is a large number, but for some karaoke professionals or enthusiasts, it is small compared to the 200,000 or 300,000 songs collected. Not to despair, however, the limitation of 32,767 songs is per folder. So, you can have 10 different folders each holding 32,767 songs. That would be total 327,670 songs. So as long as the total space allows, which is maximum 2 terabyte by the first rule, the total number of songs can increase using multiple folders. There is, however, a cost to having multiple folders. That is, when searching and playing a song, you will need to switch between folders. This is easier than changing disks in the 205G player, but it is still an extra work compared to having all the songs in a single folder. Note that if you have less than 32,767 songs, all your songs can be in a single folder and you do not need to worry about changing folders. Digressing a little, another concern we have for an external device is the power supply. When using a flash drive or SD card, the power required is very small. However, when using an external hard drive, the power required becomes big and it's more than what the 205G player can spare. This is why the user manual of the 205G player states that the external hard drive must have its own power supply. We realize that many external hard drives in today's market do not have their own power supplies. They are powered through the USB connectors. For this problem, we found that the new external SSD solid-state drives are very fast and require much less power than the standard drives. In fact, the SSDs with power need less than 0.8 amp or 5 volt DC do work with a 205G player without their own power supplies. To find the compatible SSDs, visit our website CavsUSA.com. Note that when your external drive is not compatible to the 205G player, the Smart Navi screen will blink continuously. Now, back to the formatting external device, start a PC. We see the Windows desktop screen. 
open an internet browser and go to aomeitech.com, spelled A-O-M-E-I-T-E-C-H.com. Download and install a program called AOMA Partition Assistance Standard, which is a freeware. Insert the external device you wish to format into the PC, which in our case is a USB flash drive with 256 gigabyte. Close the File Explorer pop-up window. Start the AOMA program. In the program screen, the USB flash drive is shown as disk 3 with 231.85 gigabyte along with other drives in the PC. The flash drive has two partitions, F and G, both formatted as NTFS file system. We will now show how to remove the two partitions and then make one partition under the FAT32 file system. Right click on F, select delete partition. You are given an option to choose between delete partition quickly and delete partition and wipe data on it. Note that selecting the second option to delete partition and wipe the data on it, although it is thorough, takes considerable time to complete. Here we select the first option to delete partition quickly. Click OK. Next note on the top left corner of the program, an apply button with a number showing the number of pending operations, which in our case is 1. Click on apply. Click Proceed and follow the instruction to complete the operation. Next, right click on the G partition and do the same to delete the partition. Next, right click on the disk 3 and select Create Partition. Here we can adjust the size of the partition, which in our case is the whole flash drive. Select FAT32 as the file system. Click OK. Again, go to the top left corner and click on Apply and follow the instruction to complete the pending operation. Now we are done with formatting the USB flash drive as FAT32. The flash drive can be removed for use with a 205G player. Next, we show as an example how to format a 4TB external hard drive. Connect the hard drive. Close the file explorer and start the AOMA program. The external drive is shown as disk 3 with two partition F and G. Both partitions are formatted as NTFS file system. Again, right click on the F partition and select Delete Partition. Again, select Delete Partition quickly. Go to the top left corner of the program and click on Apply. Follow the instruction to complete the operation. Right click on G partition and do the same to delete the partition. Next, right click on the disk 3 and select Create Partition. Select the file system as FAT32. Note that the size of the partition automatically reduces to 2 terabyte. This is due to the partition size rule of the FAT32. Click OK. Go to the top left corner and click on Apply. Follow the instruction to complete the operation. Now the 4TB hard drive is ready for use, but it can only be used as 2TB and it requires its own power supply. 
This ends the video instruction on how to format an external device to FAT32 file system.